Now that we understand what amplitude and frequency means, let's talk about harmonics. And harmonics relate to the frequency. When you play a note on a keyboard, that corresponds directly to a certain frequency, measured in hertz. When an orchestra tunes, they tune to something called concert pitch, which means that middle A equals 440 hertz. Now, when you play a note on a piano, you're not just playing that one frequency. You're playing that fundamental frequency and its harmonics. This gives the character um, or timbre of the sound, so we can distinguish the difference between the sound of a piano or a violin or a flute. When we're using synthesis, we're shaping the harmonics of our sound. I'm going to do a little experiment here, which is actually a form of additive synthesis, where we're going to start off with individual frequencies and we're going to blend them together to show what's called the harmonic series. So starting off here, I've got a bunch of test tone oscillators, and the first one here I've got tuned to 100 hertz. And you can see that if I look at the second one here, that's tuned to 200 hertz. The third one is set to 300 hertz, and so on and so forth. So um, this, if we keep going, is basically what's called the harmonic series. Okay, so here I am in Ableton, and I've got a couple of operators here to demonstrate the harmonic series. And I'm going to turn these on one at a time. So each one of these operators is a different harmonic. So if I start down the bottom here, I'll play just a single note on my keyboard, this low A, and this is close to 100 hertz, and I'm going to bring in these other harmonics. So I'll bring in the second harmonic, and you can see here in the spectrum that that's adding another spike here. Here's the third harmonic, the fourth, the fifth, Sixth, seventh, and eighth. And I could keep going, but you get the idea. So you can see as we're adding these harmonics, we're adding more tonal interest to the sound. And this is referred to as the timbre, is a musical term. So this is a very important concept with synthesis. We're starting with a harmonically complex sound and we're either subtracting from those harmonics or we're adding those harmonics. Okay, so very important to understand what harmonics are. You'll notice that these are all multiples of the fundamental, so 100, 200, 300. Now, if these weren't multiples of the fundamental, then we'd get a much more dissonant sound, and they are called inharmonics.